Good morning, guys. G here, G's Loft. And I uh, just want to give a big congratulations to Frank McLaughlin once again. Um, the same hen that uh, won the 407 miles. She won the 507 miles SME Combine. So she's a double Combine winner. Week in and week out. An amazing hen. And once again, guys, this is the uncle to that hen, which is a full brother to her father, 273. So, but the, her, um, the second combine winner, which is 27, uh, 37, 327, excuse me. Um, this is the, the grandparents to those birds. The father to that bird is this guy, the sire to the freak. So this is the father to the freak. I have the daughter of the freak here. So the freak is related to the second combine winner. Um, here she is, 1380, erect. It's not supposed to say son. I have the one that says daughter. I really do. Right here. Here it is. Let's throw that out. Direct daughter to the freak. Okay. So she's related to this pigeon. There it is. Uh, sire to the freak. 2982. 2982. So the freak is related to his uh, second combine winner. Once again, um, on the 407 mile race, his best second hen is related to this pigeon, which is the feathered foot pigeon, which I stalked one of her sons. This bird is the granddaughter to the dark hen. Okay, here's the dark hen. This is the dark hen's son, which is her father. Okay, so let me see here. This is the dark hen made it to this pigeon that makes. So the dark hen's um, son is the father to the freak, which is brother to this guy. That means is related to my pigeon. He's an uncle to my pigeon. Okay. My Hoosier winner, the, the Hoosier winner, I have brother to the Hoosier that I have here. There's the dark hen again. And here's the 490. Same pairing. Okay. So this is another son of the dark hen, which is uh, brother to this, this uh, father to the freak from my pigeon, which makes the my cock bird. So, which in this bird, with this bird, that bird, and the freak family, these birds are all in the freak family. It's related to the second combine winner as well, and so he's related to the first place combine winner 400 miles and the 500 mile winner just wanted to share that with you guys um, my ex-partner from the fall river club he won the club in the fall river and duncan harvey he won it in the rhode island club um, very good pigeons there was not much pigeons on the day it was a very tough race um, whoever made it home that day, uh, those birds, they deserve a lot of credit, a lot of credit, they really do. It's not easy to fly a 500 mile race, you know, imagine just driving 500 miles, it's, it's crazy. We got some, uh, I found a, a new uh, pigeon feed store that um, 
finally sells the feed that I like. You know, it's a depurative for racing. It already comes with the barley, the safflower. Some rice in there. It's a depurative champion. Uh, Versalaga, should I say. Depurative Versalaga. And then I do buy the barley. And I, I get the, the top flyer from another company. But this is what I'll be flying uh, my young birds with. Just this. Nothing else. The birds stay in amazing shape. Amazing. There's 273, guys. The uncle to the winner. Related on both sides. And he's related to the 400 mile. Um, second place winner or, or Frank's second best bird and there is the one that's related this is the brother to the Hoosier 511 he's the one that's related to um, the second combine winner that's him This is 511's feather foot. So the babies that come out of here, if it's a hen, I'm gonna stalk it. You know, um, she's a granddaughter to the dark hen, which 511 is related to the. I don't know if he's related to the dark hand is not. I, guys, I get these. I got sidetracked with these stuff, man. It's so much. Let's see. Here. I'm doing a. Dark hen is um is his grandmother. See, I wasn't I didn't even really know that. Stuff I learn every day from these pigeons. Twelve thirty three. And I pair these two up. Not knowing this, but I guess on the mother side, on the other, yeah, the mother side is different. grandson to the dark hen as well so his father and 1233's father are brothers half brothers wow okay and I stopped him from them too Featherfoot blue box this bird is amazing when you pick this bird up it's crazy how, how nice this bird holds feels everything it's just amazing and that guy right there is the son of 273 
paired up to the sister to the of the freak. So I stalked him. 2020. He's a 2020 bird. Amazing that bird. Amazing. He's the only son I have from 273, which is the uncle to the winner, double combine winner. So that bird is related to that family. See, I stalk these birds without knowing none of this stuff. Well, obviously, because the double combine winner just won these races, you know, but I didn't really understood how um, I knew that the family of birds were really good and stuff like that. That's why I did it. But look how it just proves, you know, it proves itself. And this is what I, what I like to uh, stock birds out of winning family winning genes i just don't put a bird in stock just because i like the color or I like the mother or the f no it got to have some type of uh information in his background uh, did the mother win did the grandfather did the uncle did the aunt you know something like that for me to consider stocking the bird And I, believe me, I thought I just learned that five eleven is the grandson to the to the dark hen, and he's been my bird for for three years or two years now. And he's paired up with another granddaughter to the dark hen, and two seventy three is right there, and his son is the one that I just showed you, and he's on eggs here, and he got baby's there. And that's his hen. And I stopped her as well. Look at the dark markers on the bar, on the tail. You know, shiny, nice blue. This bird is related to Cool Dude Michael. If I'm not mistaken, um, the dark hen, the dark hen is mother to Soro, which is Cool Dude Michael's brother. This is a lot to take in. Let me see something over here. Guys, I'm sorry that I'm showing you guys just information, but information is really good. Believe it or not. Should have done this on a, my own time. And this is another brother to the Hoosier, which makes him half brother to the grandson of the Dark Hen. But it doesn't have, um, it just has this side of the family, so. This bird is not related to the dark hen. This bird won $3,000. Lost by eight minutes flying with nine hours with a large hole in his chest. sword okay this bird I think is related to cool dude Michael if I'm not mistaken so that hen I stalked is related to that family as well 273 is so she's in that line of family as well and I have four of her kids flying for me over there really nice and I stalked let me go 
see him. The grandson to the freak from the bird I have here, the dark one. So he's related to the, here he is. He's always by himself in here. He likes to take charge. He's related to the winners and all that stuff as well. So. Bears gotta eat. This one here is is the brother to the bird I stalked. I should have stalked her because I need females. But I think females are better in flying than males. It's just my preference. I think females do a lot better on the distance than the males do. Oh, I, I believe so. You can get five females by the time you get a male. It's crazy, you know. So the race, guys, was a second uh, second day race as well. We put the clocks on the second day. There is the, the brother to the Hoosier, the other one. The one that won the 3000 that flew with a large hole in his chest. Yep, that's him. Nice babies here. Nice alley beach babies here. Damn these things already. Yep. There's an Alex, the Alex Beach cock. This bird's amazing. Nice bird. Well, guys, I just wanted to share that information with you guys. You know, um, when you guys go to stock some birds, just be careful. Don't stock anything. Make sure the, the, the family is a good family. It has history behind it. Um, and don't stock a, a pigeon that you have on your loft. Um, you know, pedigrees don't don't mean nothing. This is just a piece of paper. The only reason why I like a pedigree is to tell me the history of the pigeon. That's it. But unfortunately, this bird will sell before another bird to a stranger. You know, because a stranger can can see it. You know, but. If the bird isn't winning, if it's the family of birds isn't still doing what it's supposed to be doing, don't 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 stalk the bird. As you guys seen here today that I showed you, these family of birds that I put here, him him that I stalk. The other dog chucker that I have outside there. You know, these are all family of pigeons that's continuing winning. You know, the Kenny White birds that I have here. Um, they're still winning with the birds. People are still winning. The birds still exist. The family of birds. They're winning everywhere still. You know. So that's what I like to uh, base my families off of. If I stalk a bird, the family has to be still producing winners and stuff like that. Um, I like to see it at least. I'm pretty sure everyone does too. But um, I got a I got a question on uh, on the common area. 
And I appreciate everyone who commented on on the videos and all that good stuff. How many times a day do I fly the young birds? Like today is a very windy day over here. I won't let them out. I will not let the birds out on a windy day like this. Um, but other than a, a windy day or a rainy day, if I'm here every day, they will go out every single day. If I can let them out twice a day, I'll let them out twice a day. And I'll just, just whenever I can, I'm here every day, they will be flying every single day. Pretty soon I'm gonna start uh, putting them in the box and uh, training them in the box, in the crates. And now uh, once I get to like 20 miles, you know, 30 miles, then I won't allow the birds to loft fly as much. I'll probably let them loft fly once a week. The rest, everything is on the road. Even if I take them the opposite way, like if I take them to work, everything will be on the road. I'll put on the clock to see what time they came in. Cause I won't be here obviously if I'm going to work. I'll let them go there just for the exercise. This is a granddaughter to the freak. This is related to those winning jeans. That's about it guys guys um hit the notification button if you haven't subscribed yet for further notify uh videos hit that thumbs up button i appreciate all the love and support um i enjoy doing these videos for you guys that's what i'm mainly doing it for for you guys so you guys can get an experience of how we do things in New England, the birds, you know, the people. Um, I still have to go visit other lofts, of course. Um, you know, some people don't like to be recorded. Some people don't like to be, you know, in the videos or they don't like their business being out there. So it's, it's tough. It's kind of hard when people don't want it. You know, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, some people allow it, some people don't care. Just don't put them in the video, just, you know, video the birds, it's about it. So, but I'm gonna try to get you guys as much as I can, uh, do some interviews with some nice names. Um, I will contact a few guys. If they allow it, I'll do it. And if they don't, then I can't, guys. So guys, thank you again. I just wanted to share that information. Congratulations to all the winners. Um, Frank, Duncan, uh, Paul, you know, you guys deserve it. The birds did a great job. Um, yeah. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.